We're looking at the top of a limestone bed and there's a shear zone which is coming through here. So this is a damage zone of a small structure where there's been some movement. We can see that because we have a series of um, extensional veins. So veins grow from the tip. So in the tip of these veins, they start to move apart. So these are extensional features. So they're spreading apart. So sigma three is in this direction. So they're being compressed in this direction. So sigma one is in this direction. Sigma three is like this. So in a shear zone, often veins open up at roughly a 45 degree angle to the edges of the shear zone. And they form these extensional structures. So this side, as these are opening up, this side is moving this way. So the shear zone, with pulling it apart like this so that's going to the right so this is a dextral sense of motion and as these veins develop they're always at 45 degrees but as they get continued movement they get displaced and in the middle they become rotated in the shear zone and so these tension gashes this isn't the most perfect textbook example but you can see that we have a series of these tension gashes and even here we've got pull aparts that are full with buggy calcite here which again is showing that dextral sense of motion as this is pulled apart and filled with crystals and when we have nice regular sets of these rotated almost sigmoidal veins they're called on echelon tension gashes